Alright, hey guys, it's Thomasology14 here, and I'm back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a Minecraft bucket server on Mac. As you can see, this is Mac. Mac. So to start off, you want to right click, make a new folder, and call. you can call it whatever, but I'm going to call it server. Clean up selection, and now you're going to want to open your web browser and go to the bucket b u k k i t dot org o r g and you should open right up to the home page and then right here it should say craft bucket is now available but with the version it doesn't matter what version you're on this is all going to be the same so currently i'm on minecraft 1.5.2 and since I already have, you're gonna want to download the craft bucket, and then you can just minimize your thing. It doesn't matter. Oh, I'm open that. So I'm gonna open this. And you're just gonna want to paste or drag in your Minecraft.jar, or it should have little like 1.5.2, whatever. So what you want this to do is you want to go in and you just want to remove all of that until it says craft bucket dot jar. Craft bucket dot jar. As it says on the screen, that's what it should be like. Alright, so now what you're going to want to do is open text edit. Cancel. Command N for a new window or file new document. You're going to want to go back to the bucket forms. And then go to get craft bucket. You're gonna wanna scroll down until it says Mac OS X. You're gonna wanna highlight this code. It's gonna look a little funky and a little weird when you try to copy it, but it's okay. When you highlight it, it should all work out fine. You're gonna wanna command C or under edit, copy. You can do that. And you're gonna wanna go into your text edit document and put command V or you can go edit paste doesn't matter and then you're gonna want to go format make plain text okay command s save it start it doesn't matter what you name what you call it but you have to have dot command at the end no matter what i'm gonna save that to my desktop you can go wherever it's easiest to find it for you but i think desktop is easiest and you're going to want to go save, quit text edit, close that, and now you're going to want to drag that into your server folder. Watch, I'm going to try to do this. Open it. You're going to, if you try to open it, you're going to get this message. This just means you don't have enough, you, you don't have permission to start it yet. So you're going to want to open terminal. And you're going to want to type in the code chmod space a plus x space. You need the space of that at the end or else it will not work. Drag in your start dot command and click enter. Now your server should work. Open it. And it's going to be a little, it might take a while while you start it, but all the files have to generate. So, parent world, parent world, parent world, parent world. So, while it does that, you're going to want to go to the second link in the description. Or to the third, I guess. And it's going to take you to the port map. The port map, like, homepage. It will take you right to this link. You're just going to want to scroll down and click under yeah so it should just take you here and it should down you're gonna want to unzip that unzipping and well now your server should be started you want to go in see it says done ignore the warnings you're gonna get a lot of warnings it's fine you're gonna want to go in and you're gonna want to type stop S T O P stop and then hit enter. This is gonna shut down your server. 
minimize that. And port map folder, and you're gonna get the application called port map. Click open. Ignore that. So, this is probably my IP is gonna be blurred out because you can be tracked by your IP. You wanna click plus, and under this, actually, I'm not gonna blur out my IP. It's fine. I'm not. Ignore that. So, under where it says port, you're gonna wanna type 255. Six two five five six five, just like that. Click UDP description. Doesn't matter. Minecraft. Fuck it. Fuck it. Like it spell server. And you're gonna want to leave the reference string. That's it. And then you're gonna want to click add mapping. Oh, that's too long. But whatever. We're going to want to copy that. And now that is the IP that after you, so to have your server running, you're going to have to have the start dot command open, no matter what. So just minimize that. And this is the IP you're going to want to give out to your friends. Command, see that? And launch Minecraft. Log in. Sorry, I have Forge Mod Boulder installed. And so to have your server running, you have to have port map open, no matter what. Port map must be open, or else your server will not run. That's it, period. You're going to want to go add server, and you're not going to want to put in that IP. You're going to want to put in the IP called local host, and click done. Alright, so now you can join your server. Oh, it's beautiful. And I'm uh, sorry, I have shaders now. Uh, so this is your server. What you're going to want to do on your server is op yourself to make you have all the commands. So you're going to want to open your terminal window. OP. No slash, just OP. Then your in-game name. Now you can switch into server or into um, creative. You can build. So now you can, and that's it. You can ban people. So I'm a ban. I was banned by an ad. And so to not, to unban someone, you're going to want to put pardon and then their in-game name. So now I should be able to join the server again. Yep. There we go. Alright, so now just quit Minecraft. Um, stop this and I'm going to show you how to install plugins or also known as server mods. So you're going to want to go back over to Bucket. Bucket. And, uh oh. And you're going to want to go to Get Plugins. Never mind. As you can see, the Bucket site is under Maintenance, so there will be a second video explaining how to install server mods. So, in this, I want to thank you guys for watching, and if you want to know how to make, how to install plugins, just wait for my next upload, and, yeah. So now, your server will just run as a regular vanilla server, until you have plugins installed. So, stay tuned for the plugin video. Alright, thank you all. Thank Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all later.